I'm running seriously behind today already. I don't want to get my hair wet because this is my stage hair. No way, after Johnny does my hair, am I going to try to do it again on my own? Operation Keep the Hair Dry. Ah! Crazy busy day. Everything is just taking longer than normal. Haircut took longer than normal. I had to put gas in the car. Still don't have tomorrow's hammer time done. I'm just feeling the pressure too much into one Thursday. But strangely, I'm trying to just feel calm about it. I've had enough crazy days in my life to know that somehow it all just kind of washes out in the end and it works out. So even though I know I'm running a good 30 minutes behind, just trying to stay cool about it, not stress because that only makes everything so much worse. The biggest one? It's right away. Yeah, the double doors downstairs. All right. All right, thank you. How are you doing, man? I'm well, how are you, sir? Good, good. Which way am I going? Right this way. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, it is the big one. All right. We have found the grand ballroom, and it's big. We have a coffee shop down the hallway if you need cappuccino or anything fancy. We do have uh, complimentary coffee in the morning. It's at the very end of the hall, though. They make you walk past the fancy <laughs> nice coffee, coffee to get to the free one. Keep and walking, then... poor guy. <laughs> you guys are all set. Thank Have you a great very much. Stay. Welcome. Appreciate it. Awesome. Sure, it's the right there. number. There we go. There it is. Nice. What do you think? Did that, tell me that hit you. Right in the face. <laughs> <Like this. laughs> so I'm checked in at my hotel room. Beth is gonna take the day off and hang out and chill in a nice hotel room. And I'm off to rehearsal for this evening. Curious if this rehearsal is gonna be like a half hour or four hours. I have no idea. I am in the right spot. You're in the right spot. How you doing? Jessica. Good to see you again. Good How are you? you? Gonna do a tech walk through. All right. So you can do whatever you'd like to do. Okay. 
How long do do I have? We don't actually open doors until 5:30. Okay. So we'll be set ready at like 5:15. Oh, when are we doing the the walkthrough? The tech walkthrough yeah. will be hopefully in the next five minutes. Oh. But it's gonna be touch and go because it's the first time we've actually seen it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Podium. I have a place to put my glasses, keep all my stuff, but I won't probably talk at the podium because being stationary, it's not as engaging. I like to move around, keep people on their toes, and remind them why they paid me to be the host of their award show. It's two o'clock, three hours until I gotta show up for showtime. Check this out. You want to see the sheet? That's right. That's my monitor down there. And that is where I can read what I'm supposed to say because I have no script and I have to give out a lot of awards. Big screen here, the other monitor. And I use, well, it's black now, so that's not fun. All night long. Camera's crooked. Where would your mind be at right now if all of these tables you knew in three hours would be full of people that all know each other but don't know you. And you've been hired to make the evening entertaining, to make it fun, to make them laugh, and to be the face of the award show. Is this something that would make you nervous? Or like me, would you be excited to do it? I love giving people a good time and making them think, hmm, that was actually better than what I thought it would be. Let's see what's backstage. Damn. That is a tight backstage. No partying going on back there. You can talk anywhere, and then when the video starts playing, you'll move over. They'll walk up while the video is playing. When the lights come back on, they'll be standing at the podium to read their script. The script will be running here for me, right? So there's not an actual script. It's just the program that's happening. Oh. So that's where I'll just, just be reading, I'll read. just be reading what everybody else is reading? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, if you don't know exactly what's going on, I suggest you go through what we've sent you. Okay. A lot. So you get familiar with it. Okay. That's a lot of stuff to have all completely memorized. You don't have to memorize it. It's yeah. just, this is what's next. And okay. The thing will come up on the screen and it'll say, this is the next section. You'll say, okay, okay here's the next section. Mm -hmm. And then they'll clap or they won't. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you want to stay on the podium, you can. Okay. So you can see who's next, or okay. you can take notes. Like right now is a good yeah. time. Yeah. Um, our person last year made like a big page of notes and wrote down the names of the people coming up. Okay. It's totally up to you. Because that information will be here on the screen. No, the way that they get told who's coming up is by the video that's playing. So I'll have to announce it. You don't have to. It's totally up to you how you want to run it. Okay. The waiting is the hardest part. Your biggest fear when you do an event like this, you're going to be on stage, you have to talk about things, but you don't have the information. And I've just gone over the script. It looks like it's a cut and paste job from, hi, from the previous year. And I'm starting to get a little bit worried about what I'm supposed to be saying. Hey guys, how's it going? I was just curious if you know when we're going to be able to see like the presentation deck because I'm just kind of waiting around to see what it looks like and I would love to be able to go back to my hotel room and like take a shower and have something to eat before this starts. So do you know what our timeline on that is? Right now we're having a few uh, video issues with the sure. format that we got. Sure. Um, we still have uh, two hours. Um, we could, this we can in formal announcements at seven, but people are arriving risk before seven. I understand but that, you, you but I want to see what it looks like because so I'm, we, we I'm can, following it to some degree to know what to say. We, we can show you the video right now. It'll be a little choppy and we're, we're going to keep working on that issue yeah um, i mean i could just look at it on a laptop i just want to yeah. know what it looks like so i know how much i can follow it because i'm literally just standing around waiting to see it Perfect. just because that's what i have to announce to and so i just want to see how well i can like read off of that if the if the type hangs or if it's at the very end oh okay and that'll be on my monitor yeah that, that'll be yeah. the confidence monitor yes <laughs> giving you 
With the utmost confidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But everyone's like, why does he keep talking to his shoes? <laughs> Some of these sections Great. will have like intro videos before that. Right, so, right. But I think for, for that part, that's going to be when they want you to announce it. So, right. Like, cue to go off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to see what those black bars look like when I'm doing the main announcements to see, do I have to memorize this stuff? Do I have to look off my iPad? Or can I just, you know, be casual and read the monitor? I think you should be able to be pretty casual. And read, and read off the monitor. All right, cool. So here's one of these, like the second one. Perfect. If they all are just built in that template, then I'm good as gold. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Good luck. I know you guys got a lot of hassles here. All right. Good news. I can just read them. I probably waited around in there for an hour too long, but I know what I'm doing. My personal confidence is as high as it always is. That bar is at 100 because this is what I do, but my confidence in the production of the event is a good 50-50. Back to the hotel room. Oh wait, I can do this. Back to the hotel room. I'm gonna try to get some food and chill out for two hours before it's go time. The speaking is nothing that I'm ever nervous about. I really enjoy it. That's the part I look forward to the most. It's the next two hours of people asking questions and giving you last minute notes and people trying to figure out the flow. That's the part that makes me agitated or irritated. And I really, really wish that I could just go from this hotel room to the stage. I wish I could just walk right out that door and just be where I need to be because the next two hours is the chaos zone. We'll see what happens. So far, the organization has been great. They've been very, very nice to me, very accommodating. So I'm hoping that it continues that way. This will probably be my last quiet moment for the next six hours. <sighs> Enjoy the silence. Let's do it. So as fun as it looks to hang out with everybody out there, you have to talk so loud that I don't get to do that. I have to hang out in the quiet spot like an old man without getting called someplace else. An hour from showtime, they've got it all dialed in. When I left, things were a little bit suspicious like things tend to be hours before an event but we're an hour away and everything seems pretty dialed all right jessica you've been amazing to work with here's my biggest two questions yes how do i get water and what do i do if i have to pee <laughs> if you have to pee you hold it forever and ever and ever for three and a half hours three and a half hours what is this a flight three and a half hours all right so i don't get to pee for three and a half hours that was not in my contract <laughs> great the doors are open. We're getting close. Just wanted to start. Just want to get it going. Word to the wise, if you ever do any hosting, always make friends with your sound guys. You want them to have your back. You want them to root for your victory. And whatever you do, no matter how cool it is or how many rappers tell you to do this, never, ever, ever drop the mic. You want to make these guys mad? Drop the mic. It's not cool. I don't care what they say, it's not cool. 
This guy gets it. Oh, yeah. I dropped the mic when I was 15 and I thought the sound guy was gonna kill me. <laughs> What's up? Selfie. Selfie. I am here to say I'm the best person in the world. Whoa, best person in the world. I'm pretty honored. And beautiful. <laughs>